Gray and writer and researcher Alex Bahanu. Uh, Alex, great to see you. Thank you for joining us. I know you were in the Tigray region quite recently. Can you explain for us why the Tigray uh, People's Liberation Front are refusing to surrender, even though they're confronted by federal troops surrounding the city of Mekelle? Likewise, uh, it's nice to have you, uh, to have me. It's a long story. I, I can't make it so, so precise, you know, in, in such a short time. Anyway, but I can tell you a few lines. One, the political power has not been reserved for the last 100 years until 1991 when the TPLF came to power and distributed the center power to all regions whereby it was playing in a good role. But at that time, it didn't come to take over the whole, you know, the center's power. It shared to the, uh, the other nationality. And in due course, they have improved the economy, as you well know. They, in, they built so many universities, so many infrastructures in such a short time, in two decades. Even in we in the UK, as you well know, we hadn't had so many universities in such a short time. Anyway, in 1918, the numbers of the universities has produced so many you know, youngsters, so many educated people who couldn't be absorbed by the economic system we have. And this created a rift between the new generation, the demanding generation, and the inner capacity of the state. And the original so, so I, 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 I hesitate to interrupt. I, I know it's a very, very complicated uh, history in Ethiopia, but essentially, does it boil down to uh, a falling out between the people in Tigray and the federal government? The people in Tigray feel that the government is not legitimate. Yeah, who should give in, who should surrender the illegitimate and elected government? or the, the uh, government that has been elected by the people. The government in the center, in Addis Ababa, was not elected. It has expired. Its, uh, its legitimacy has expired on the 5th of October. Whereas the government in the original uh, administration of Tigray is elected and backed by the people. Who right, is, who is, right. Who is, who is, so, who is, my question is that if the conflict runs its course and the government of Abiy Ahmed has said that they will show no mercy, how is there going to be reconciliation? This could be a protracted conflict where thousands of civilians are in the firing line. It is in the fourth line. He said he will finish off the job in three days. Three days so many times passed. Even he has been trying, you know, for the last two years, not only, you know, because of the war now, we full-fledged war, you have seen it. He has been doing this, he's developing this war, you know, the last two years. What it, it will end up is, if at all he succeeds, you know, to take some part of the Tigray, which he can't, which I know 100% he will not, but if he dares to do so, and if he manages to get um, some arrests, this will not bring peace and stability immediately. It rather calls, you know, a long journey, protracted war for the next 20 years. That's all it would happen. So when the you were in, uh, when you were in Tigray recently, uh, what were people saying to you? Uh, how, how worried were they about what was going to happen? They have never been worried. They have the history of uh, victorious history. They have been always defending Ethiopia, not only Tigray, from any foreign aggression, starting, you know, you, you, which you well know of, the Italian aggression, the Muslim aggression in 1871, you name it. The Tigrayans have been always, you know, the, the vanguards and the sandbags, you know, to stop any foreign aggression. They are used to it. In 1991, they played a great role uh, in throwing the you know, nasty dictator we had in power. And with this, you know, psyche, with this psychology, with this history, they are so adamant, so proud, so arrogant, even right now, to the extent you can say, that they can beat and win any war. So they have never been afraid of that. Alex, thank you very much indeed for giving us an insight into what's happening there. Good to have you with us. Alex Bahanu there.